What's up, YouTube? Bubble121 doing a, uh, kind of, uh, my Absolute Zero decklist update. Uh, big shout out to, uh, Team Minority Z, because he's the one that convinced me to post this, even because I was skeptical, because I didn't want people really, like, overly copying the deck to the exact, and this is my best Absolute Zero build I've gotten so far. In the mirror match, I will w I I have won 9 to 10 times out of 10 in the mirror because of how good this deck's been doing. So let's just go into it. And uh, like I said, big shout out to V for uh, helping me out, uh, convincing me to post this. So uh, thanks, man. Um, I'll definitely uh, link this, link your link your channel, and send this to you in a message. So uh, thanks a lot, dude. Uh, one Stratos running two alias. Good, really good lights for uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, Diamond Dude, because you can shave the top card if need be, if you don't want it. Um, and if it's a just normal spell, you can use it or not. Uh, too, uh, too Malicious, because of the really good Synchro, and good to pitch for Dark. Um, two Diva, one Gilman. I know people like to run more Diva, more Gilman sometimes, but it seems to be dead draws sometimes, because I don't like Gilman getting bottomless, stuff like that, um, and sit with a Diva. So that's why. Um, Gores. Uh, yeah, Gores, two Cyber Dragon, uh, for the light, and it's really good now with the, uh, Cyber Dragon deck, so I, with, uh, Super Poly for Cyber Twin, because I side it, uh, Dark Arm, Chaos Orc, um, Plague Spreader, I really like this in this meta, because of how many things are getting summoned, like, uh, Sabres are going off with, uh, they go off with their Fall Troll, you, uh, they target their, uh, Card Engrave, and you just, uh, kill it kill that one card they could OTK you with that uh, they're wanting to synchro with. Sangin, because you'll sit there with a, uh, you won't have your water, so then you can search it if you need it. So, uh, tomatoes for for that to get Sangin if you want to really search that badly to get in for the next turn. Uh, Diamond Dude, Plague, Malicious. I love Malicious sing, uh, setting tomato first turn. Uh, they kill it. You summon Malicious, you summon Diva next turn, get a second Diva, and synchro twice. So it's really good. Start running this over Airbellum, because it's, um... Airbellum got way too much bottomless on it, um... So it's really good to have and kill. Morphing Jar? I love killing hands that really could control me. I love... Uh, I open sometimes with him and five traps. Five spell and traps. So, set him, kill your opponent's hand, and you get five brand new cards. So, I go through the de this deck really quick a lot to get my options. Uh, Rhoda, Deidre, uh, two Miracle Fusion kind of obvious. Super Poly, because I love taking my opponent's cards. I love it. It I have not had a moment where Super Poly's been a dead draw, pretty much at all. I've had it once, and I pitched it with a card that I'll show you later. Mind Control for the Synchro, Allure for the draw, because I run so much Dark. Dark Hole to kill. I run Dark Hole, but I still like killing that one target if I don't have the Dark Hole, and I can only Synchro into, like, a Catastrophe, and they're sitting there with a big monster, like Dark, Colossus Fighter, something like that, I can't get over. So, Smashing really helps. Uh, Trunade, Monster Reborn, MST, I don't run two because I don't like hitting other people's MSTs, pretty much. Um, so that's kind of why. Uh, Solemn, two Bottomless. Uh, Mirror Force, two Phoenix Wings because I love having to make my opponent redraw things that they're already ha they have already set and might need. So it's really really good. Whoop, get those up. Uh, Call the Haunted and Starlight Road. Uh, Synchro. I still run. Let's go. Let's go back for a second. I still run Starlight because Light Sworn are still seeing play. Like JD, Celestia is hi still hitting. Celestia and JD and Lightsworn. Black Wings are still seeing play. Icarus Attack. Um, let's see what else. Dark Hole is still is now back, so that's really good. Uh, Absolute Zero Mirror Match. I don't like getting my uh, getting dominated by an Absolute Zero any more than anybody else when I play Absolute Zero and dominate somebody with it. So I still play this because of how good of a main deck this still is. Go into a uh, synchro. Got uh, two Stardust, one Scrap Dragon because it's amazing to nuke my own uh, Absolute Zero. Target their back row that could be a Starlight Road that they've sided in for my deck, and then nuke everything they've got, all their monsters. So then I can press for game that turn if I can. Uh, Goyo, Catastor, Bryanak, uh, Scrap Archfiend. 
Black Rose, Thought Ruler, Colossal, Magical Android, two Absolute Zero, kind of obvious. Um, Gaia, Elementaro Gaia, really good to get over big things like uh, Dark Armed and stuff like that that I can't normally. Um, so I have their monster, get its half, and punch over it, and they take 22. Um, Draco Akest, because I main that Super Poly, it's so good to take when they Goyo and they take my Stardust, I take their big Colossal Fighter if they're about to attack with it and take my Stardust back. So, or they're nuking like my Stratos with their, uh, Scrap Dragon, I activate Super Poly, uh, send Malicious or Plague to the grave and take, and take their Scrap Dragon and then my Stratos and go into that and I'm set for a minute. And then I can activate Draco Akest, use it, use their, remove their Scrap Dragon, and then nuke something of mine, and then my opponent's. So it's really good. Uh, Sashomaru token. Here's my two tokens. If I, re I kind of vary between them, what I use. Uh, Sashomaru, really cool looking token. Um, and then Lady Susan from the Zatchville card game. I love this just because it's funny, because she's, uh, she's jiggly. See? Hold on, see if I can get a better... She's, uh, she's jiggly. Okay, um, yeah, that's kind of... Um, here's my side. There's a few cards in the back I'm still, uh... Uh, the back of the side, like, the last three or four cards, I'm still debating on, just depending. But the majority of it, um, is set. Uh, two Victoria for the Dragons. Um, Defiant, uh, Alector, Sovereign of Bur Sovereign of Birds. Because it's really good against uh, Sabres, Blackwings, stuff like that. Because you can just special summon it. It's a free special summon when your opponent controls two or more monsters. Same attribute. So, really good. Cyber Dino. Uh, they summon Fall Troll. They special. They special summon Fall Troll. They special summon Bora. You still be. You still win in that uh, attack power. Uh, two Juju. Just because it's really good. <clears throat> No more extermination. I still may side this thing just because I love killing cards that I don't want to deal with. Okay, because we're in such a slowed down meta, removal has been. I have played four removal decks since since we have hit the new ban list, and it's been making me bad because my deck against removal normally doesn't stand a chance. Just saying. So I go Imperial Iron Wall against their removal they don't have many outs, because then they can't even Caius anymore. They can't... Ma their Macrocosmos doesn't do anything. They're, it just doesn't matter anymore. Um, so, then I just focus on my power game, because then they don't have much to uh, abuse anymore. They really don't. So I work on my power game, like, abusing Synchros, abusing Alias, at, it's 19, abusing Dark Armed, if I can get those three in Grave real quick. I just... I can really abuse, I won't abuse Dark Arm's effect, but I'll start abusing its attack, because a lot of removal focuses so much on its removal, it can't really back up with all its spells and traps like Mirror Force. They're okay, they can kill your stuff, but once I get Stardust on board, it's kind of game. Um, chivalry, because I love killing Gores. Uh, gores, Juju, Tomato, stuff like that. Like I said, Cyber Twin, love sighting it. Uh, Mind Crush. Uh, one Light of Destruction, and one Light Imprisoning. Um, this is the only card, I guess, I forgot about these, were set in stone. I, I'm still iffy about Nobleman. Because when you play, uh, flip effect decks, they'll a lot of times side out a lot of their flip effects into more of a beat, beater deck, so. These are for, uh, Light Sworn and, like, Fairies, like Christia Sworn, stuff like that, so. Alright guys, that's the newest version of my Absolute Zero. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, V, thanks for uh, thanks for convincing me to post this. Um, thanks a lot. Um, didn't think I'd post it. Just kind of uh, wasn't sure. Because uh, a lot of people try to copy decks and net deck off people. And it just kind of annoys me. So, But it's whatever. Um... Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like I said, and uh, it's Bobble121, Team EMD. Peace out.